What's up, guys? This is Tim from TestDemi.com. How's everybody doing out there tonight? It's going to be a crazy night. Uh, what we're going to do tonight, you know, at least here out here in Houston, Texas, tonight, you know, wherever you are, what's up? Shout out to you. Hope everything is going good in every area of your life. Uh, but what I want to do here today with this particular video for Test Demi is I want to talk about something that I think is affecting a lot of manual testers trying to get into automation. Uh, but before we want to get there, I want to let you guys know the mission of these videos you're going to start seeing frequently on this channel, Test Demi uh, YouTube page here. And what we want to do is we want to start a movement and get about 10,000 manual testers to automation. So I'm a, you know, I'm a manual tester. Uh, that's now doing automation or on the verge of uh, completely transforming over to automation. I'm going through the process. I know there are a lot of manual, manual testers out there like myself that want to learn what to do about automation. So I want to let you guys know that if you know any manual testers out there, you know, have them come out to Test Demi's YouTube page. Check us out. Be a part of this movement. And let's kind of get help each other out, go from this uh, manual testing field to automation field. Because I mean, if most of you guys know, like I do, a lot of the jobs and requirements out there require more uh, manual testers to be uh, automated, you know, have the skills that are needed. So what do we want to talk about tonight? I'm going to make this video kind of short and uh, short and sweet to the point tonight. Uh, we're going to talk about how to get started in automation testing. So if you're a manual tester, uh, you know, like I mentioned earlier, if you're trying to look for a job, a lot of opportunities out there, they're great opportunities. But a lot of employers and companies are looking for manual uh, automation testers. So I'm going to outline uh, today. I'm going to, it's going to be part one of this series of how to get started in automation testing. Uh, I'm going to outline four things you should do how to get started. All right. So you ready? Sure. Go, go, go. Let's go, baby. Come on. Do it. All right. The first thing we're going to do tonight is uh, I'm going to tell you guys the first thing you want to do if you want to get started in automation testing or being a manual tester is do a market assessment. You know, I don't know if you guys have heard about this book by uh, Dr. Stephen A. Cuffey. Uh, he's uh, late now, God bless his soul. Uh, he came out with a book called Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And in habit number three, one of the habits he mentioned was begin with the end in mind. So when you want to start on a goal, you got to know what is my main goal? What do I want to accomplish? And, you know, once you know that, that begins to give you direction how to kind of reverse engineer and direct your way. So why do I say that? The first thing you want to do, like I mentioned, is a market assessment. What you want to do is you want to begin to check a lot of these job boards like LinkedIn, Dice, Indeed, wherever your job search engine might be, wherever you live, begin to look on that. Look on those websites. What are they looking for? Uh, for example, I did a quick market assessment uh, for you guys, kind of help you guys get going. And some of the positions I found out there were software automation developer, Automated QA tester, quality assurance automation engineer, uh, software developer, and test. And if you notice, a lot of these positions are now being, um, how would I put this? They're, they're kind of being intertwined with development roles. So if, if anything, they're calling these individuals, uh, we uh, software engineers, they're calling us software uh, QA engineers and tests. So you're pretty much a developer. Uh, that's really a tester on the inside. So that's the secret of it. So if I had to say anything, your first step is do a market assessment. When you're doing a market assessment, a few questions you want to ask yourself. Okay, what skills and technologies are these employees looking for? Right? Uh, what are the salary expectations? What are the years of experience required? Uh, and what exactly are the skills that are really, really, really in demand? You want to pay attention to it. Right? And like I mentioned, so if you look at some of the job descriptions that are out there, most of the job descriptions are all built around software development. So if you are a software tester that wants to get into automation, you want to begin to build up your technical skills. So part one, market assessment. What's number two? All right, number two is uh, I'm going to highly encourage you, please pay attention to my words. Pick an object-oriented programming language to learn. Don't just pick any programming language. Make sure it's object oriented because a lot of employers out there, a lot of the positions they're looking for are object oriented programming language to do your automation testing in. Build automation frameworks, build automation test cases, regression test cases, whatever the case might be. They're looking for you to have the skills around a programming language, not any programming language, but your best bet is an object oriented program language. OK, so learn what object oriented programming language is. Uh, pick one. That a lot of them out there is Java. 
uh, that's uh, C++, C Sharp, uh, that's Python. So pick one of these languages. Um, what, we're gonna, what we're doing here at uh, our YouTube channel, at Test Dummy, is the programming language we decided to go with going forward on this journey, on this movement that you guys are going to be a part of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. So the, 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 the uh, skill or the programming language we're going to pick here is going to be Python. Why Python? Number of reasons. It's an easy, easy programming language to read and write. It's a real programming language. It's just at its high level in the sense that they kind of make it more like English. It's just easy for you to transition into and easy to read the code. Okay. Another thing about Python is that most universities and colleges actually use Python as an introductory language when they're trying to get uh, students to get into programming. The other thing is most of the companies out there, top 10 companies, for example, that use Python, Instagram, Quora, Reddit, YouTube, that you're on, yes, sir. Uh, I can mention Instagram, Yelp. Uh, a lot of these companies are using Python. The great thing about it, it's an open source uh, language. It's, it's, it's an object-oriented programming language. So we're going to pick Python as our programming language. We uh, kind of uh, document our journey from a manual test to automation test. So join along. Uh, if you have any other, other uh, programming languages in mind that you're using, leave them in the comments. And let's talk about it. Let's have a discussion because we're going to get 10,000 uh, manual testers from the manual testing field and into automation to fill these jobs, and y'all going to get paid. Watch, all right? Uh, so what are a few things you need to learn as far as you want to be an uh, automation tester and picking up programming language? Like I mentioned, know what an object-oriented programming is, know what a class is, know what inheritance is, know what instances are, objects, attributes, know what these are. Uh, the other thing is know what modules and uh, have a good understanding of the standard library. In our case, we're going to be studying the Python standard, standard library, understand data structures, understand data types and variables and errors and exception handling, uh, uh, arithmetic uh, uh, Arithmetic operators, uh, control flow. There's so many things that you want to learn. Uh, but the thing here is um, we're going to go through the process to make it easy to kind of help you get along. And, you know, we're all going to win together. All right. So mention one, market assessment. Two, program language. Number three is practice, practice, practice. you got to practice. Just practice it. Uh, the best way to practice is play with the uh, programming language. Uh, build something with it. And finally, uh, what you can probably do is also you can begin to finally learn it. But you have to practice that's the only way you're going to get good at this uh, uh, automation testing, right? Because the truth is, the foundation to me personally, guys and ladies, hey, what's up, ladies? How y'all doing? Shout out. <laughs> uh, the thing uh, personally to me um, is that the most important thing is um, is that you have to understand that the foundation, right, of automation testing is being a good programmer, understanding how to program, right? Uh, so the better you can program, the better your automation test script is going to be. Finally, don't want this video to go too long. The final thing I want us to understand here is that uh, after you have your market assessment, you pick your programming language, we're picking Python. Uh, if you practice, you're still practicing, you're ongoing practicing. The final thing is pick an automation tool, right? The secret here of picking an automation tool to learn at step four is pick an automation tool that is open source. Your market assessment, as a matter of fact, guys, and ladies, of course, yourself, is that your market assessment should guide you, right? Because you begin to see most of the technologies uh, and the tools that employers are looking for. So in our case, what we're doing is we're going to go with the big homie Selenium. Shout out to all the Selenium users out there. Great uh, automation tool. Really, Selenium is really an API, an application programming interface. It's a library. Uh, you know, to, in order to drive, drive a lot of web browsers using this particular API driver, but we're just going to call it a tool. We want to keep it simple, right? As you can see, our whole goal is making automation easy. Woohoo, and peasy, baby. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to go with Selenium Web Driver, open source. And again, a lot of companies are going to use open source because it's not commercial. They don't have to pay for it because companies are about saving money, all right? So, they're going to probably go with automation tools. And of course, if it meets a lot of their groundwork in house and most of the applications, to Supported, so they're going to go with a lot of open source tools. A lot of comes out there going with Selenium. So if you have Selenium skills, again, it's built on some kind of programming language. The great thing is Selenium Web Driver comes with a lot of language by bindings, Python, Ruby, Java, C Sharp, PHP, JavaScript. So uh, like I mentioned, make sure you pick an object-oriented language. We're going to go with Python. You feel free to pick any language you want. But uh, a lot of our things we're going to be showing here on this YouTube page is going to be Python and Selenium Web Driver. So pick Selenium Web Driver. And once you do that, like I said, a few things you want to understand is know about page object models, understand about how to find locators, uh, have a good locator strategy, understand refactoring, uh, how to do uh, unit testing automation, 
uh, build an automation framework, testing on different browsers, running different parallel tests. So there are a variety of things you're gonna learn, but what we wanna do is we wanna kinda walk through the process to that, together. Like I said, we're on this journey together. So uh, well, like I said, I want you guys to uh, uh, you know remember these four things, market assessment, pick a programming language, we're going with Python, practice, 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 finally pick an automation too. We're gonna do Selenium Web Drive. So this part one of the video, I uh, hope you guys learned something today. If you have, please leave your comments. If you have any uh, other, other suggestions out there, please leave your comments. Let's have a discussion, all right? Because we're going to make this um, work. A few other things. Uh, once again, thank you for joining. I want to encourage you, please subscribe if you haven't to the Test Demi YouTube page. Just click on there, right there, subscribe. The other thing you want to do is, if you if you have a chance, please check out testdemi.com. That's T-E-S-T-D-E-M-Y, testdemi.com. Uh, we have free tutorials on there. We have free lessons, free courses on there. One of the free courses we have on there is how to get a job in software testing with no experience. You know, four part video. Hope you love it. But like I said, most important thing, leave a comment. And if you have any questions or any topics you want us to discuss going further, all right, let us know. Holla. But you guys have a blessed day and see you on the other side. Holla. We out.